So the girlfriend of Bobby Burns, Jordan Lee, she has her own YouTube channel. Don't know if you knew about that, but anyway, she just released a video called The Truth About Anxiety. But how real were her facts? What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you are new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. Most of all, helping you improve your mental and emotional well-being. But I also pull different things from the news or social media or YouTube or movies or TVs and talk about how it might be able to help you out with your mental health. So if you're into that kind of stuff, be sure to subscribe, ring that little notification bell. I have over 400 mental health videos on here. I'm always making content. You don't wanna miss any. So I just hit 10,000 subscribers and I just did a little live stream, thank you. Um, I love all of you so much. And in my live stream, I talked about like, I had so many reasons why I started this channel, but I, I still struggle like anybody else does with like second guessing myself. Like one of the reasons I started this channel was to kind of call people out, but not in a negative way. Like when we're talking about mental health and we're talking about the stigma, we're talking about awareness, there's a lot of people well, where even though their motives are good, they might be perpetuating the stigma of mental illness and things like that without even knowing it. So I, I talk about how like, I think most of you who know me by now, you know that I'm well-intentioned, you know that I come from a good place, you know that I'm not doing anything malicious. While I might make these videos to get new viewers in and get views and all that kind of stuff, like I don't try to be malicious in any way. So this video, when I talk about Jordan, like I, I wanna start out by saying like, I'm truly grateful that she's using her platform for this. Like she, uh, you know, she's the girlfriend of Bobby Burns and they know Shane Dawson and Shane recently did a video with her, got a million views. So she's almost at like 40,000 subscribers. And I really appreciate the fact that with her new following, one of her very first videos since she kind of, you know, got bigger was about mental illness. Like I, I, I really appreciate that. The more people talking about this thing, amazing but there's a few things in the video that i just want to kind of point out and maybe she'll see this maybe she won't but at the end of the day you're the one watching this i want you to kind of learn from it because you might be doing some of these things and you don't even realize it all right but anyways i will link her video down in the description below so you can check it out and give me your thoughts and all that kind of good stuff so the first thing that i'll talk about with her video is like i was actually wrong i was actually wrong so in the video jordan talks about uh, different statistics for anxiety. And she says like she's done a lot of research and uh, you know, the most recent studies she found were from like the early 2000s. I'm like texting my girlfriend, I'm like, there's no way that's correct. I'm like, there is absolutely no way that that is correct. And I started Googling it and I saw more recent studies, but they weren't recent studies. I was tricked by Google. It was actually, I wasn't really tricked, but they were posted in 2018, 2017 about anxiety statistics, but they were actually, pulling data from the early 2000s studies. So like, that's really interesting and really fascinating to me. Like, why are we not keeping this data? Like, why are we not keeping this data up to date? I know there's a lot of stuff they're they're keeping track of like addiction statistics and stuff, but we really need to start focusing on mental health. How many people are struggling with depression? How many people are struggling with anxiety and PTSD and all these other things, especially because those are some of the main reasons people turn to drugs and alcohol. So that's really interesting to me that they haven't really done a thorough study in many, many years. Like it's been over 10 years since the United States has done like an in-depth study on how many people are struggling with anxiety. All right, but anyways, the next thing that I wanna point out from her video is this, and I called her boyfriend out on this, like people need to be more accountable. They need to be more accountable. So the other day, I, I don't even remember how I stumbled across Jordan's channel, but like it, she had a trailer for anxiety and something that I, I liked that she did was she, she took videos from her audience and they talk about their experiences with anxiety. That was awesome. But at the end of it, it says coming tomorrow. Now, when I saw the video, it had already been up for four days and this new video wasn't up. So I'm like, why did you put tomorrow if you're not gonna post a video tomorrow? Like, I, I talk about this in a video, I'll link up there about YouTubers being role models and stuff like, you got to do what you say you're going to do. Now, Jordan did put in this video why she didn't upload it. She says a few things, but I'll shut up. Here's a little clip of why she didn't post the video. I posted that trailer for the video you're watching right now about a week ago, and it said that the video is going to be coming out the next day. And I just wanted to let you guys know why it didn't come out the next day. Ironically, or I guess maybe not ironically, I got super 
just this week. There was a lot of stuff going on and there was uh, stuff I'm not, I'm not gonna talk about because that's not the point of what I'm doing right now. All right, understandable. Anxiety, it's a mother. It'll come out of nowhere. It can be debilitating. It can make it so you don't put stuff out. But here's the thing, and this is for all of you out there, all of you, if you struggle with anxiety, there's a few things, okay? One of them is if, like, I don't know Jordan's situation, but if things are coming up and fueling your anxiety, like, do not give yourself a strict deadline. Like, Jordan doesn't work for anybody. She makes YouTube videos. Like, nobody said you have to have this video out. So don't say I'm going to release it tomorrow. Like, just don't do that. Like, don't put that additional pressure. Because one of the things about anxiety is we put ourselves into this anxiety loop. So. My guess is Jordan had anxiety, so she didn't finish editing her video, and then because she was late with her video, she then added more anxiety to herself. So like something she could have easily done at the end of that video, rather than saying posted tomorrow, she could have said coming soon. That is it. Now, the other thing that I'll mention, and something my girlfriend actually brought up, like, don't say you're posting something tomorrow unless it's already done. Unless it's already done, like don't say that because YouTube has a scheduling thing and you can put that right there. But if you're not even done with it yet, like don't say when it's coming out. Like don't hold yourself to these strict deadlines if you have the ability right, to not post it on that day. And the reason I say that is because some of you watching this, like you do have strict deadlines with work and things like that. But for somebody like a YouTuber, like don't do that to yourself. Like I haven't talked about it much on this channel, but I post almost daily, okay? I've been on the platform for a little over a year. I have over 400 videos. So if you do the math, I've been posting pretty much daily since I started this channel. Now, I have never told all of you that I will post daily because here's the reason why. I'm not gonna hold myself to that strict schedule. What if I get sick? What if my anxiety acts up? What if I'm just not motivated to make a video and sometimes that's happened and there's just not a video? So I have never promised you guys anything. So I don't have to deal with the anxiety of living up to this expectation that I placed on myself. So I hope this is a lesson to all of you. Don't give yourself a deadline like that unless you absolutely have to. So the last thing I'm going to point out about Jordan's video, and this is one of the reasons I decided to make this video, this is my biggest gripe with it. And like I said, this isn't malicious. I know Jordan was well-intentioned, but this part of this, the, the video is one of the reasons why there's such a stigma around mental illness. And I talk about it in my channel trailer where I say you're not mentally ill. So basically, if you haven't watched Jordan's video, what she talks about is before she made this video, she took some polls on her Instagram, okay? So the first poll that she took asked how many people suffer from anxiety, okay? And like, I think about 9,000 people did it. You can see on the graphic right here, how many people said, yes, I do suffer from anxiety, and how, people, how many people said no. Nothing wrong with that. But the first thing I asked myself is, is this self-reported? Like, are these people saying it even though they've never been diagnosed? And the second question is the one that made me wanna make this video because the second question is, would you call it a disorder? And most of the people said yes. Like, you can't do that. You cannot diagnose yourself with an anxiety disorder. You can't, you can't do that. And like, here's the thing, like how many people, this has been like a running joke on the internet since WebMD came out. Like it's a running joke, like people who go online and self-diagnose themselves. That's not how it works. We have mental health professionals who are there to diagnose you with mental health disorders. Like you can't just put a poll and say, would you call it a disorder? Like. What? Like, that'd be like me saying, like, I have a flu, but I'm gonna go ahead and call it a disease. Like, you just, you can't do that. And that's something that perpetuates this stigma because everybody out there is like, hmm, well, I've been worried a few times. So yeah, I guess I have an anxiety disorder. Yes, like, please, please, please don't do that. Like, you gotta get diagnosed by a professional. Her next question brings a little bit more light to this. Her last question says, have you seen a professional about this, right? 2,788 people said no, okay? And 2,035 said yes. So of the, of the second question, 2,035 people have gone to a professional. Whether or not they were diagnosed, I don't know. But an overwhelming majority of them, 700 more people, almost 800 more people said no, I haven't seen a professional. So that means in the second question of would you call it a disorder and all those people who said yes, they haven't even seen a professional. They haven't, like go see 
a professional. Whether it's a doctor, like my doctor, my primary care doctor is the one who diagnosed me with a generalized anxiety disorder. But like I said, it perpetuates the stigma because what it does is it dilutes, it dilutes what mental illness really is. And like, that is just terrible for people who are actually struggling with it. Like, I'm not saying all the people who said yes don't have it, but if you haven't been diagnosed, like, please don't run around saying that, that you have a disorder. Because what happens is, is when somebody, let's just, let's just, say this scenario, one of your friends comes up to me, comes up to you and says, my anxiety is really bad today. My, my PTSD, my anxiety is really bad today. And you say, yeah, I have an anxiety disorder too. Like I have to do a pre presentation at work and I'm like, I'm pretty nervous about it. Like, like think about how that person feels in that moment. Like you are basically trivializing this legitimate illness that they have. So that's the reason why I'm so passionate about it. And like I said, this isn't saying that Jordan, you know, is a bad person, but like, if you're going to talk about mental health, like you gotta be educated in this stuff and understand what is perpetuating the stigma. Like, when I talk about mental health advocacy, like, I gotta talk about this stuff, and unfortunately, I gotta call people out on some of these things because it's one of the reasons that people don't really understand mental illness is you got a bunch of people running around with these self-diagnoses going on. You know what I'm saying? But again, I'll end this video by saying, like, I appreciate what Jordan's doing. I do think all of you should check it out because she does have some very good information in there. She talks about various forms of anxiety, she talks about things that can help with anxiety. She does do a Q&A at the end. Um, some of her answers I'm kind of iffy about, but like she did a pretty good job. But anyways, go check it out. If you're into her content, feel free to subscribe to her channel. Um, and come on back. Come on back to this video. Let me know down in the comments below. Um, if you struggle with a diagnosed anxiety disorder, what do you think about her video? All right, but that's all I got for you today. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health make sure you subscribe ring that notification bell and a huge 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 thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on patreon if you would like to help support the channel go on over check that little patreon link and help a brother out all right but thanks again so much for watching i love all of you and i'll see you next time